www.pgriff.info. My email address is professorgrifpe at gmail.com. So if you're sitting back and you need some information, read Amos Wilson's book, Black on Black Violence. Uh-huh. Once again, that's Amos Wilson's book, Black on Black, black Violence. Oh, the Psychodynamics of Black Self-Annihilation in Service to White Domination. <laughs> he running them down, my brother. He running them down. <laughs> so when, when others that are out there that truly think you internet gangsters and cyber thugs, you need to read Baruti's book, The Ewa, which is the warrior's character. You can't be that tough when you don't have no character. And we don't mind you being a soldier, but you got to have some character. Exactly. Exactly. Now, now, real real quick, I have a call online. Uh, you you mind if I take a call real quick? No, I don't mind. Okay. Caller number four, state your name and what you represent. This is Synergism from Twitter and Facebook. I represent myself, a black <laughs> woman, conscious female. I had no intentions on calling in, but this brother gave me a headache because knowledge should give you one. <laughs> I can't even keep up with him All I'm asking is give me the list Because I know that I'm 39, no doubt I have my MBA I'm working on my doctoral degree At the same time I can always better myself When you have a, a brother that Has done the work Then a sister should follow that In, in order So I'm asking for a list I'm going to ask for that list To be posted in the group So I can get on my shit Bottom line <laughs> Because I was, I'm totally motivated. I love learning. When you feel you ain't, you can't learn anymore, then you just stopping yourself from where you need to be. All that shit he said is real talk. Mm-hmm. We have been brainwashed. We have, we got. First of all, when it comes to the black family, everything he just put out there, the black family would never be the same if we just take heed to everything brother just said. We'll be where we was because we were there before. Yep. Got to find our way back. Yes, exactly. So I'm I'm just calling to remind you guys I need to listen. <laughs> I'm serious. Oh. All right. I, 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 I got to get it in my library. I know I mentioned to a brother that I read so many books for school, but at the same time, if I'm still struggling to grow, I got to sit my ass down and do what I need to do, and that's read because knowledge yep. is power. That's right. But not only read, sister, but you have to do. No doubt. <laughs> Action. Yep. Prayers yep. don't answer themselves. <laughs> Ain't no sense of bullish in yourself and getting your knees on pain, painful for nothing. If you exactly. ain't gonna do it, you playing around. Yes, man. Exactly. And I come too far to stop right now. I can take some. some I have, I'm a mentor anyway. I can take some little ones behind me and get them where they need to be. Exactly. Because I'm reaching back. <laughs> Now I guess we will we'll we'll get um a the listing together, you know. Uh it's a lot it's a lot in there, so I will probably Yeah, it to... was. I can't keep up. I'm like, I'm gonna listen type and talk. <laughs> well, there's a white. No, no. I appreciate that though. <laughs> Unless Brother Griff has 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 his own listing of it, he can probably forward me. I don't. I, I I'll have to look at you know listen to get. I have it all written down myself. So, but I appreciate it because some of this stuff has been across me before. But you know now that it's real. Sometimes when people give you knowledge, you just don't take heed at that moment because you're doing your own thing. But if that same knowledge keeps circulating in your presence, it's meant for you to take heed and grab hold to it. Yes, ma'am. Right. So I would just appreciate that. Thank you, guys. Great show. I would prefer to just keep listening. But next oh, time I'll be ready. I didn't have a drink or nothing. <laughs> hey, thank, thank you for calling my sister. Thank you for You're calling. You're welcome. You all have a great evening. All, all right. right. Okay, bye-bye. Let, let me speak to what that sister said. They're the same by a gentleman uh, named Thomas Payne. He said to argue with the person who has renounced the use of reason is like administering medicine to a dead person. Mm. Wow. Yeah, no doubt. To argue with a person who has renounced the use of reason is like administering medicine to a dead person. Mm-hmm. Yes. So we, we have to understand that at least if you're coming to the table, like the sister just said, you know, she, she's working on her degrees. You understand what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And she has she has a certain degree of 
not on. But she says, wait a minute, I need to get this other thing that this brother's talking about, which is a beautiful thing. And that sister just proved my point, and I hope my sons are listening, because I teach my sons, look, if you're in school, man, you got to take two sets of notes. Take the ones that, you're gonna, that you need to write down and learn and regurgitate that madness back to them so you can get that piece of paper and get that degree. But you've got to take another set of notes. And that's just to just confirm what I've been saying all along. These are that, this is that other set of notes that you need to take. So to add on to what that sister was saying, here's two books just for you, sister. The Goddess Black Woman, Mother of Civilization, by a brother named Brother Akil. Twelve Lessons to Restore the Image, the Character, and the Responsibility of the Goddess Black Woman. Yes. And then one very important book. Now, this one would be hard to find, sister, but just dig a little bit deeper. Um, it's called the Awakening the Master Feminine. Wow. By Yao Morris. Awakening the Master Feminine. And what I'll do for the sister is get these books written down, and what I'll do is I'll compile a list, and I'll put it on my website, www.pgriff.info, and you'll just take the list down from there. Oh. No doubt, no doubt. Wow. You didn't mention, you didn't mention a few. I'm going to have to go in here and uh, uh, pull them back off the shelf because, I, you know, I ain't, I ain't dug into them in about a year or so. <laughs> right. And a couple, you know, obviously I need to go pick up, yours being one, no doubt. So. Oh, look at that. I really appreciate that. Yeah, yeah, it, 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 I mean, I, I thought I, I wasn't going to have an, another list of uh, books to buy and whatnot. I see I didn't make it through the show without <laughs> picking up more books to buy, you know. But yeah, let me just say, let me just say this, but also I'm going to put this list in a book that I'm writing uh, right now. This book should be out in September. It's called The Acapella Revolution. Mm-hmm. Notice we've been talking for almost two hours, man. We ain't played one song, but there's a certain <laughs> there's a certain vibration going on here. Lessons. Uh, listen, I'm learning as I'm teaching. Don't get me wrong, I'm not the best Noah. That sister just called and she talked for two minutes and dropped something more. me. You understand what I'm saying? That I, that I took from her just now. Yes. Are you following me? Yes. So, so, so we, have to, we have to understand that that's, that's the whole spirit of each one, teach one. And like she said, she's not that closed off where she, she can't learn something new. Mm-hmm. No doubt. Well, well neither am I. <laughs> no doubt. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Brother Griff, let me ask you this. In your research, have you ever come across something called sigil magic? I'm quite sure you have. What is it called? Sigil. S Y G I L. Yes, yes. Yes, I have. Um Steve Coakley has set me on a mission, man, to uh to study different forms and, and rituals and whatnot that uh Luminati go through in these different different uh these different uh secret societies. And they've really tapped into our science, man. So what we yeah. would do in rituals and initiations and that kind of stuff, they call it magic. Right. Uh, our educational system, they called it a mystery system. Our initiations, they called it a mystery. It wasn't a mystery to us. Nope. There you go. This was our knowledge, and we went to school up until the age 40 because we lived for a 1,000 years to the good, ripe old age of a 1,000. Living a thousand years for us was nothing, man. So you get a hint and a clue of it when it talks about Methuselah in the Bible where it talks about he lived 996 years, something mm-hmm. to that thing. But there's yeah. a beautiful, beautiful sister by the name of Robin Walker who wrote a very, very important book that, that, that all of the mothers should have that's educating their daughters and their sons. It's called When We Ruled. Especially mm. history month because it seems like we can only go back as far as the first damn slave that stepped off the ship during Black History Month. And if that's the origin that's the origin of your history, we in bad shape. Simply because if we do one iota, one thing past uh what we accomplished during slavery, then we think that's progress and that's not progress. Like the sister just said, we already had this. You know, bro. This gives you a peep into the, the word remember. We need to pull the members back together and re go back, bind back to remember, rewind, religion, mm. rechat. You understand what I'm saying? 
No doubt, no doubt. Wow. I mean, and, and, and relink, like you say, relink and, and go oh, back with it. A whole bunch of rewords, man. <laughs> <laughs> Rebuy. How about rebuy? 